Thanks for tuning in to the 3D Tutor. Hey guys, and welcome to this brand new virtual portfolio gallery tutorial. So this time we're going to be following on from the basic uh, landscape tutorial where we just use one singular texture, uh, a seamless texture of grass. We're actually going to be going in and adding some more variation to this grass by bringing in a secondary texture and painting it in as well. So we have two textures that we're using on this terrain to add variation. So I'm going to go ahead and drag in my grass dirt, um, diffuse normal roughness and specular so they're just going to be doing um, we're going to be doing a similar thing as before but this time we're going to be using these four materials so I'm going to be going into my landscape material so the same one as before we're just going to go into the layer blend and I'm just going to add a new layer in here so this is going to be called grass dirt okay and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete these just here as well so then we've got two materials there okay at that point then I can make copies of this I've got grass that now numerous times so what I can do it's gonna be a little bit messy I'm gonna try and clean this up as best as I can so that's gonna go into the layer grass the ones from before because that's obviously the initial one that we set out I'm actually gonna drag up this entire area oh making a bit of a mess of that so gonna drag that all up and place it just there and then I'm gonna drag in my new material so I've got grass dirt all four of them will do let's chuck them in and what we need to do here is we need to make sure that we place these all correctly so it's going to be in this order roughly like so that's going to be going into there that's going to be going into there that's going to be going into there and the normal is going to be going into there okay and then we're going to link these all up into the um, material slots so we've got there we've got the normal we've got the roughness specular and obviously the base color which is the diffuse okay so that's all fine now what I need to also do is make a copy of this. Now the reason why I'm not linking this straight into all of these is because if this texture may need a separate scaling to this texture just here. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy that over and I'm just going to drag these in like so the same way as before. So this is going to allow me to customize the scaling for that material if it's too big or if it's too small. Okay, so I'm going to save that. And once you save this, you'll notice that the um, layers within our landscape painting so let's just wait for this to kick in again there we go if we go into our landscape and then paint okay so what i had to do is just close the um level down and then bring it and open it up again so i just closed the entire project down and i opened it again and as you can see it's now got the grass dirt material in there as well which actually incorporates all of the uh the normals and the roughness and all the other stuff as well so we're going to go ahead and add a layer info for that as well the same thing as before weight blended and we're just going to stick it into the landscape layer there we go so that's a great uh, the grass dirt layer info so i'm going to reduce this brush size because obviously it's massive so i'm going to shrink this down quite a bit and i'm going to think about maybe thinking about where this is going to come in i have to wait for it to compile shaders otherwise it's not going to work and I'm just going to start painting this in. So as I start painting it in, you'll see that it comes in like so. It's a little bit washed out because some of the lighting in my environment is a little bit off. But we're going to fix that a little bit later anyway. So this is effectively what I want to do. You can obviously soften the brush a little bit more by increasing or decreasing the fall off. So if we, re if we increase the fall off, it's going to make the brush really soft. And then you can go in and obviously fade it in a little bit more. So... I'm just going to keep my brush really soft at this stage and just going to bring in a bit of a path. So I'm going to think about where possibly we might want this player to walk, so kind of lead him or guide him down a specific area. Again, you can make the brush a little bit bigger if it's a little bit too small. Uh, you can use the square brackets on the keyboard also. Don't just want to give him one way to go, you want to give him multiple pathways to go. There we go. So that's going to be coming round. And you see we've kind of got this rounded area in the... Um, in the middle of our 3D space where obviously we're going to have, I guess, a tree It's going to come in. Okay, so that's how we bring in um, additional materials and additional textures. So that's it, pretty much. Okay, so one thing with this lighting is currently it's a little bit flat. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select the lighting, which is just here. We can kind of like go to the place um, menu. See that the arrow is pointing down. So I'm just going to actually drag this light over. Now this is a directional light, meaning it's actually flat across the entire environment. It doesn't really matter, you know, how um, you angle it, sorry, where it's placed, but it does matter how you angle it. So if you angle it more and more, you'll notice if you go into the ground material, 
you can just start picking up the, the basic normal map and also like the specular and other bits are going to start popping up. So you can see that now. There's actually a bump to it. Whereas before, if it's coming down flat, what you find is it looks completely flat because the light is coming down a bit too flat. So it looks really flat. So I'm going to put a bit of an angle on it just to make it look a bit more interesting. Maybe spin it around just a touch as well. Okay, so it's going to look a little bit more interesting and um, you know make our environment look a little bit better as well. There we go. So we can change the color of the lighting if you want to, you know, making it a different time of day as well can make it look a little bit more interesting, kind of an orangey tone, um, and then just press OK. So it's a little bit darker now, and we'll see what it looks like when we go in and play. It's kind of an orangey tone, which is quite nice, and then we can see we've actually got our normal, it's actually looking really nice to be fair. Um, probably mess around with the blending a little bit more, um, because it's, it's blending a little bit too much possibly that it's not got a clean enough edge on there but you know as a quick um, test it's actually not too bad it's pretty good now if you want to view this full screen you can also just press f11 and it will expand that to full screen but i'm pretty happy with that um, and the way that that's looking okay so what we'll effectively do is we'll stop here and we're going to move on in the next video on how to actually bring in the trees and the foliage the grass hopefully you found this video useful i'll catch you all next time